continue to live in their own homes and communities. So this is about people staying in their own homes, not needing to go uh, further afield for goods or for services or for any sort of uh, community service that's available to everybody else. There's common agreement among all of the candidates here about uh, where we need to, to go or where we need to be. Um, the, the single biggest uh, issue, as I see it, is that we need to restore the cuts that were, were um, taken over the last uh, five to ten years, and particularly since the, uh, since the economic uh, crash. And that's uh, an important first step. Um, the government uh, published a spring review or the spring um, announcement today, and I think it's important that rather than a, a blanket uh, giveaway budget in October, I think it's important that uh, there's a specific focus on the most vulnerable, on the groups that are most vulnerable or have been most impacted by the economic recession, and I include people with disabilities in that regard. Um, the overarching strategy which we've had over the last number of years has been this document, the uh, National Action Plan for Social Inclusion. It runs out next year, 2016. Um, the vision for people with disabilities that uh, is, an, is of an Ireland with people with, dis uh, with people with disabilities have, to the greatest extent possible, the opportunity to live a full life with their families as part of the local community, free from discrimination. And in answering the question, in relation to re rebuilding the, the, the community supports and uh, uh, to help people live in their communities. I think a number of issues have been raised around part time of the building regulations, around public realm, around uh, the disabled persons grant, work that local authorities do very efficiently and very well, only uh, have uh, suffered from severe cuts over the last number of years. Access to services uh, is a significant issue as well. And I'm talking about neurological services, I know Katie's here from the Neurological Alliance. I think it's really important. Um, we have some of the, the most under-resourced neurological services in the country. Um, chronic pain management, uh, support for, for small projects that are, that are involved in, in chronic pain management for people with disabilities, I think is something that's significant and gives great dividends back to the community. Um, the, the, uh, the, the whole issue of access to employment and access to, uh, you know, there's, there's a huge issue of, um, of underemployment and, and uh, very high levels of unemployment within the disability sector. And I think that's something that, uh, as the economy grows, we need to, uh, we need to actively uh, pursue employment for people with disabilities that is meaningful and, and can give value in people's lives. I think that there's, um, for, my, for myself as a, as a candidate, and, and looking at the disparate views of, of, of all of the candidates here, I think it's vitally important that um, whoever is elected, uh, that there is a, a, a common sense of purpose by, by, by that person to work collaboratively with, with uh, people of all parties, of all political persuasions, to try and pursue a common goal of, of turning the tide of what we have in this country, a very, very unequal, unequal society, a society that has grown more and more divided, where the gap between rich and poor is becoming more and more pronounced, and the gap between people who, who have disabilities and, and face profound challenges in their lives is becoming more and more difficult for them as well. So I think, from my own point of view, I think it's vitally important that uh, the, the, the key message I'd like to put out is that we need to collaborate and bring about a transformational change. Thank you. Thank you.